do our folks at home remember that this petri dish was photographed after the mold detection was done inside the residence at the site. What we're going to do is we're going to show you under UV light, rapid sunlight, whether or not the killing action after two days under sunlight, if the mold is completely destroyed by UV light. You can see the moisture beads formed on top. We're going to lift it up. We have found out that the mold is actually not destroyed. It continues to feed off the agar. There is red mold, there is black mold, there is white mold, and there's orange mold, all formed on here. We are going to take the solution that we just talked about and to observe what happens. On the black mold, we're going to drip some, and you can see the bubbling. It's going to continue the bubble until the material is neutralized. We're going to add some onto the orange area. We're going to form a nice circle, because this circle encompasses most of the other molds. You can see very rapidly that the mold is being neutralized and destroyed. What we're going to do is we're going to move it around in this dish and to show you with a little rocking action what sunlight couldn't do we are able to accomplish. This is a very powerful neutralizing solution. Now observe on this angle right here as the formula touches the other mold even further away, it is completely neutralized all kinds of colors of mold because it is a biofilm reducer. It removes it. As I rock the dish further on, it will still continue to remain in action. And the mold is being neutralized completely, as you can see on this right hand side. The solution will stay active for a period of four weeks. That is why you have the added residual protection. But it's as fast as in seconds you've got the killing action to neutralize the mold. Right here, I have shown the folks at home adding the solution again look at this you see that it just completely starts bubbling once a droplet is put on and it is destroyed we're going to try it right on this right on this spot right here okay look at that turn it's going to start bubbling and completely disrupt the outer spore shell of the mold right here again we're going to completely cover the dish Roll it around, and you can observe that the food substance that the mold is feeding off of, the area it is feeding off of, has completely become neutralized. The mold is no longer active. It will no longer spread. It's a powerful mixture. I'm going to go ahead and show the folks at home how we did the formation. See, underneath this um, material, this is a high growth material, it's to show how much mold exists in the home. And you can see that the material is a, is a sheet. It's actually a sheet. Let's see this. It's a food substance. So when I flip it over, you will see that the mold actually grew on the sheet and was fully deactivated. This sheet serves as a very special nutrient and food source. But inside the material you can see that there's no more bubbling action and it has completely been neutralized. Do not do this at home. This is very dangerous. If you were to do as a detector, you would just bring the kits in and have it examined. 
We would then seal this off and have it disposed of. But the mold has been deactivated and now proven harmless.